everyone. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. And yes, surprise, I am bringing back for the time being the monthly readings. Now, of course, this is going to be on a trial basis. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we will see what kind of feedback comes in from these videos. So I'll determine then whether to continue them. But for now, this is going to be April 2019. My website is angelsouls444.com. Let's get started. Hi there, Taurus. Let's see what's going on for you for April 2019. And I'm, oh, there's a card. This card coming right out. Hidden Night Gratitude. So not everything is as bad as you think it is, <laughs> right? A lot of times what we do is we forget how good things already are because we're constantly looking towards the future. Now, some of you might be feeling really uncomfortable right now. You might be feeling like, I don't know what's ahead, but have gratitude for all the lessons that have come before. Have gratitude for where you are right now because the things that are gonna be coming up for you in the future, you would have never ever been prepared for that if you didn't go through what you went through, yes? So it's kind of a, a quickie example here. Let me just think about it. <laughs> um, if I had never worked as an executive assistant next to some of the most powerful people in New York City, which I did, and it was stressful. In case you're wondering, it was stressful. And I always came out of that like, oh, I'm so drained. I'm so this, I'm so that. But if I didn't work alongside those people, I wouldn't have learned how to run a business. I wouldn't have been able to start angel souls. You know what I'm saying? Um, if I didn't have the experience of even being super organized and having to help them run <laughs> their business, you know what I mean? So even though the experience itself was not always positive, it was very draining and stressful. I have a lot of gratitude for the people that I was around. I have a lot of gratitude for the opportunities that I had because they taught me so much. So this is some type of energy that you'll be working with this month and looking back and really you know, counting your blessings. Oh, I love this card. Yeah, I have a Taurus rising, so this is good for me too. It's Cacoxanite, new beginnings. Look at that. That is glorious. So this is kind of what's going on here. So don't get yourself into a lower frequency because you have new things on the horizon. So you are morphing, developing, changing. This could be careers going away, but um, don't sweat it. Don't sweat it. You'll be okay. It might be a little tight financially, actually, for some of you. Um, but be grateful that even if you don't have a huge savings account, that maybe you were able to pay the next bill that was due. Hey, that's something. You know what I mean? There's a lot of people who can't do that. So, but you know, to pave the way for this new beginning and for who you are becoming, you have to kind of look back and go, okay, I, 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 I appreciate that. I appreciate, you know, where that got me to. So let me feel this out here. Grat <laughs> Gratitude will carve the way. Wow, so it's bigger than I thought it was. So every morning, why don't, we, why don't we even do like a practice where every morning you get up and you do a, a gratitude meditation or something along those lines because something is gonna help facilitate, that is gonna open up the energy and help facilitate this new beginning, okay? What else? <laughs> Let's see what else. Nice. Okay, so here we go. We have living gold tectite manifestation. So this is what we're talking about. You're bringing in a whole new existence. So this is definitely a powerful month for you. It's definitely a time for you to be careful what you are asking for. So let's talk about that for a second. If you're like, oh, all I want is to move, to move, to move. And then you move and you're like, oh, ooh, this was not the place. <laughs> be careful what you ask for. I also feel the example of people wanting to manifest a relationship, make sure you know exactly what it is that you want, okay, before you draw it in. <laughs> All right, and then we have lapis lazuli, past life. Now, this is really how a lot of people believe, and that's all well and good. I'm not trying to test anybody's belief system, but I see what we would think in a linear fashion as past lives. I see them as, you know, timeline continuums, so kind of looping around one another. And sometimes those areas get crossed. That's where we get, I think, and just my belief is that that's where we get the uh, deja vu, all that stuff. But the lapis lazuli talks about um, getting real with yourself. It does talk about, you know, again, you might want to do some past life regression if you're into that to release some old patterns so that you're not constantly looping in the same lessons. We don't want that, right? Um, or if you have not learned your lesson from, sorry, they're interrupting. If you have, I was going to say, you know, 
if you haven't learned your lesson from past lives, you're going to have to work through that now. But they're saying um, you're not following your intuition. And that's part of the lesson. Follow that intuition. That doesn't mean that you jump ahead and you jump to conclusions and you're like, okay, I got it. I'm going to do this, this, and this. But you say, okay, universe, I heard that. Show me more. Okay, I felt that. Show me more. Show me how good it can be. Show me what's up. <laughs> what are my options? <laughs> and when you're manifesting, you know, you could always say this or something better. That's a very, very common thing that everybody talks about. This or something better. Yes. So there is that. So your color card for this month is lemon. Access innovative thinking. The number is 23. Reduces to five. That's the number of change, guys. So you're going to have to take a different approach. It's a whole new life. It's a whole new way of being. And I almost want to say you've made it. <laughs> that seems a little grandiose, but it does feel like you've made it to some extent because now you're not hung up by the same things that you used to get hung up by. You know, you're not in the same thinking pattern. You're not, you've broken away from that. And that's what this innovative thinking is talking about. A different way of approaching the things that are happening for you. Like, for example, if a new opportunity had come to you before, you might have said, eh, I don't know if I want to start over. I, I think maybe I'm too scared to do that. And so you would self-sabotage and not take the new opportunity. Or... Perhaps you jumped into something too quickly and you were a little too impulsive and then you were disappointed. What that's talking about is you're, you're not going to fall into the same pitfalls that you did before. You've got clarity about where you've been, about the past, maybe even past lives, and you have an intuition about that as well. So as you move forward in your new beginning, you know, the more gratitude you have, the clearer the path will be. Okay, so we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care.